Hi folks, welcome to Witch Heart. I'm Laura Tempest-Sackroff and I'm gonna share with you a little bit of witch wisdom to inspire your path. So when I was about six, my father and grandfather built me a little wooden playhouse in the backyard, not a tree house, but basically a little witch's cottage. It had a little Dutch door and we had wood, had little windows with screens and it looked like Baba Yaga's hut. And I spent so much time out in the yard gathering seeds and twigs and particularly moss. I love to take moss from all over the yard and bring it to this shady patch in front of the, the little cottage to kind of create this lawn or quilt of moss. So you can imagine my joy when I found that the author of Braiding Sweetgrass had written another book years before that called Gathering Moss. And so, yay! Someone else is obsessed with moss. <laughs> and I was reading it um, and I wanted to share with you this passage that's in the, the preface. I think is very applicable to practicing witchcraft. In indigenous ways of knowing, we say that a thing cannot be understood until it is known by all four aspects of our being, mind, body, emotion, and spirit. The scientific way of knowing relies only on empirical information from the world gathered by the body and interpreted by the mind. In order to tell the Moss's story, I need both approaches, objective and subjective. These essays intentionally give voice to both ways of knowing, letting matter and spirit walk companionably side by side and sometimes even dance. Oh, just wanted to underline and highlight that a few times, but that's the four aspects. You know, I often talk about mind, body, and spirit, but to have emotion brought into that and to also see that science, magic, ways of knowing our bodies, they don't have to be separate. It doesn't have to be one or the other, but we can have an integrated experience. So reflect on that. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon. Bye.